up everybody? Martin here with Golden Pay Dirt Reviews. And we got another shipment in and another bag of pay dirt. Looks like a big, huge bag of pay dirt. Man, this is gonna take forever. Holy moly. Anyhow, anyway, this bag of pay dirt is from an eBay seller called Tony G slash 2830. This is his dirt bag gold pay dirt bag. In the description, it says it's unsearched Alaskan gold pay dirt with added gold. It sells for a big 15 bucks with free shipping, but it ships out of San Francisco, California. He's stating it's Alaskan unsearched pay dirt. Most likely it's California gold pay dirt, but hey, you never know. He might be buying pay dirt that could be particularly from Alaska and he's bagging it up after he's done panning it. Who knows? Anyhow, anyway, um, it's seven ounces of pay dirt. Shipping was really fast, A plus on shipping. Packaging is really good, nice vacuum sealed, heat sealed bag, A plus on packaging. Label, really nice, big, definitive label. I like what it says, dirt bag gold pay dirts, A plus on that. Intangibles, nothing else extra came with this pay dirt. Um, so on, that's about it. I mean, there's really nothing to go crazy about here. It's seven ounces of pay dirt. We'll weigh it up, see if it weighs is seven ounces, and then we'll get into some panning. First look, who knows? But it's a small bag of pay dirt. We shouldn't be here for six years. Let's go check it out. He guarantees gold, but no set amount of gold. So let's go see what it looks like. We'll weigh it up, and I'll be right back. I got my gloves on because I don't want to catch the Caroni. People who bag the stuff up and have the Caroni, and you don't want to be touching that stuff. I'll be back. All right, it's that time. We're gonna weigh this bad boy up. We're gonna see if we got our seven ounces like stated and guaranteed in his description. Is it seven ounces? I don't know. Let's see. There's no way to know unless you weigh it. 7.69 ounces, nice. So we got our seven ounces plus. We'll drop that A plus over here because we are above. I guess way over because we're closer to eight ounces. So give him an A plus and weigh in. He gave it to us. Thumbs up on that. Let's go take a peek. A look. Let's take a look at the bag and a peek at the material. So hold on. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's take a look at this bag. This is our first look part. Let's check it out. Nice, decent label. Nice and big. Heat seal bag. Nothing really to go crazy about. Looks like we have absolutely smaller mesh size material. Doesn't look like we have, you know, a huge, big classificational mess. Let's open it up and let's see what we got. Nice heat sealed bag. Definitely can't complain about that. I actually like these bags because they're super safe and they look pretty good. All right, we're open. So we obviously have damp material. So we're gonna give them a thumbs down on that. Boo. So hard to dry seven ounces of pay dirt. Let's see. It's, th it's, that, it's that golden color material. Almost looks like um, Eastern seaboard kind of pay dirt, the Eastern coast of America. Virginia, Georgia, North and South Carolina. All right, let's take a look, see. Let's just zoom up a little. See if we see anything in the open. I don't know. Well, so let's see. Let's bring her up. See anything? Now remember, this was $15. It wasn't a big, big, huge... Um, you know, purchase, but we are guaranteed to find gold. Just don't know if we're going to find any big gold. Nothing visible. Remember, this stuff does look really, really yellow. Uh, you know, it's got that, uh, pretty strange. It's got that East Coast of America look to it. But all right, anyhow, anyway, we saw what it looks like. We don't see any visible gold like popping out in our faces. But we're going to pan it up and see what it looks like, so I'll be right back. All right, guys. 
It's classification time. Let's get this classified. I got everything you need to do classifications of your pay dirt. We got our classifiers right here. I'm not going to um, do the 40 mesh because it's such a small amount. We're just gonna do your common 10 mesh and your under and over 20 mesh. We got our two pans that we're gonna separate it with, our pay dirt and our black sand separator measure. Let's just see if there's any in here. Give it a peek. Oh, no way. If this is from Alaska, this has, oh no, I don't know how there's not a drop, almost not a drop of black sand, just a scraping, pretty much nothing. So this would be extremely easy to pan. <laughs> wow, not a drop of black sand. You know what I usually say? And if you know me, if there's no black sand, then this is not true, you know, Gold concentrates, usually black sand and gold are best friends. But it is what it is. It is a seeded product. So let's get this going. I'll be right back. guys classification is done let's go over it real fast and uh and then we'll jump the pan don't want to make this too long so this is my plus 10 mirror plus 10 material my under 10 over 20 and my under 20 all the way down to 300 mesh just three classifications and it's just seven ounces so we don't need to go super technical and go crazy but we just want to see what this guy's offering now remember this was only $15 with free shipping. So we are not expecting to find a gram of gold. There's not even a guaranteed bonus bag or mother load bag. It's just for fun. I did like the packaging. I did like the whole look of it when I first got it. Shipping was extremely fast. And the only downfall with it so far is there is zero black sand, but it's an extremely easy pan. So this is probably for the super, super duper, um, um, you know, beginner panner. And the gold is probably very easy to get to. But remember in his description, he did say miller table and water table. So is he hinting that there is ultra fine gold in here? We don't know, but we will find out. Don't forget, there's a button over here. You smash it, hit it. It's the like button. And also the subscription button with that little bell on the side. So you got everything I upload. All right, guys. All right, all right. We're at the panning station. Let's make this quick and fast. I got my pay dirt over here. I got my catch basin. My pan is in there. I got the jet dry over here. We'll put a drop in there. Jet dry is to break the surface tension, aka a surfactant, so the light gold does not float away if there is any in there. Also, I got tweezers just in case you want to pick out a nugget. You don't want to put your fingers in there. Good old snuffer bottle and something to put the bigger gold in there or the gems. Um, another thing I wanted to say real fast, the reason I like to keep my pan in the water and submerged, and this will, this will happen even when I'm, you know, panning in general, is I, or, I already want, when I pour the pay dirt in there, I already want it to be wet, everything. So I work the pay dirt in there, and as it's falling into my pan, it is getting wet. There won't be no dry spots. Like just putting dirt on a pan and putting it in the water, you'll have that, the middle of that dirt will be dry, and you'll have to really stratify it to get it wet. But if you pour it in your catch basin that's in your pan, you'll get everything wet as it goes to the bottom of your pan. Just want to let you know why I do that, and it makes a lot of sense. So let's go. Hold on, enjoy the show. Five pieces of gold. 
not to, you know, they're, they're fairly okay sizes. Alright, whatever, you see them. Let's go, next pan. All right, so we got another five pieces there. And I don't see any fine gold at all, zero. Yeah, no, I don't see any fine gold. So we had a total of 10 pieces in the 20 mesh and in the under 20 mesh, nothing in the 10 mesh. So let's see what we got at the end of the ordeal. Remember this was a $15 bag, so for a beginner, I mean, it wasn't too shabby. Honestly, it's not too bad. It's it's not that bad of a challenge. So for an absolute beginner who's not looking to break the bank and they want to try something, I mean, I don't know how the ROI is going to look, but just to get the taste of gold, so far, I'm not too mad at it. So I'll be right back. All right, guys. It's that time of the review. It's my results and final thoughts on this Seven ounce bag from a California seller stating it's Alaskan pay dirt, but it sure looked like some Eastern Seaboard Virginia pay dirt. <clears throat> Anyhow, anyway, so let's get into it a little more. Let's check if we got our 50. And good, we're approved. We are at 50. Let's get the gold on there. Just a little bit of gold, but remember it was only a $15 bag. Let's see what we got. Oh, wow. Wow. Give it the good old five, four, three, two, one, calling it. We got 0 0.100 exactly on the nose, on the T, and a straight line, a tenth of a gram. So at a tenth of a gram, this gold value right there is $5.21. Excuse me as I clear my throat. $5.21. Okay, so $5.21, this bag costs $15. So if we calculate the numbers correctly using the percentage calculator, that would give me an ROI, which means return on investment of right here, 34.25%. Now that is pretty, pretty bad, but, now but, the only reason I'm gonna say but here is, it was a $15 bag, take away the $4 for shipping, it was really now an $11 bag. So he put almost, you know, almost $6 worth of gold, there was only a $5 recovery left, and, and I'm not saying about that too, everyone's gotta make something, especially if you're not a prospector or a miner, and you're actually buying the gold, you got to leave a little meat on the bone. But 34% is pretty, pretty bad. But I have another question about, another reasoning behind this. Now, this was an extremely easy panning material. So if someone bought this bag of pay dirt, not being um, a pay dirt person who knows about checking reviews or wants to learn the industry, they're not going to get robbed. They're not getting robbed from this. They're getting the experience because it's somewhat easy. The bag was nice. The label was nice. The shipping was nice. So, I mean, you take the good with the bad. It is a really good beginning bag. It had a nice little attention-seeking label on it. Pretty cute, you know, vacuum-sealed bag. You know, he actually got to buy that vacuum-sealed stuff. So, a little, you know, he bought those stickers or he printed them. He still put effort behind it. So... I mean, I'd be more comfortable with getting a 50% ROI, but I'm not mad at it. I'm not like, oh my God, it's a ripoff. You make that decision to go buy it. So I'll pop up the disclaimer here. You make that decision to go actually go buy this pay dirt. That's all I got to say here. 
I had fun. I always have fun doing pay dirt, no matter what it recovers, no matter where it's from, or no matter who sells it. I love panning. I love finding the gold, and I love sharing my experiences and directing you guys to the correct bags of pay dirt or the stay away bags of pay dirt. So let's let's go give away a bag of pay dirt. I'll be right back. Talking about pay dirt, let's give away a bag of pay dirt. Okay, congratulations to Jid Tory. J-I-D-T-O-R-R-E, if I'm saying it correct, I'll have it cross right, cross right around the screen right now. Um, thank you, brother. Appreciate that. I really do. I appreciate you watching my videos, you know, that commenting, giving me a thumbs up, believe in me. I really, really, really appreciate that. I'm beyond humbled for your support and you continuing to watch my videos, taking time out of your day to sit there and watch my videos and commenting. Thank you very, very much. Just do me a favor, shoot me an email at goldenpaydirtreviews at gmail.com. You can also reach me on Facebook, Instagram, Patreon, Twitter, and I think that's about it. So any way you see it, send me an email with your address, triple check it, make sure I'm sending it to the right spot. You know that we're locked up right now in this quarantine type of situation, so everything is a little on back order. But everyone will get their rewards very, very soon. Um, hopefully, everyone's staying safe, clean. Thank you very much for watching. Please go ahead over to my Patreon channel. Um, support support me on Patreon. It doesn't matter what level it is. It could be a $1 level, a $2 level, a $5 level, all the way up to $200 levels. It doesn't matter which way it goes. I just appreciate everybody's um, support. And these are a list of my Patreons here. Also, if you want to help support the channel, you could buy a sticker. Um, you know, I showed them before. They're always on my material, on my pans and my equipment, the whole nine yards. All you got to do is PayPal me. I'll send you a sticker for $5. Give me your address. And um, yeah, thank you very much, guys. So have a happy, um, what can I say? A happy and heavy golden pans. Um, stay safe, safe, clean, and I don't know. That's about it. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Peace. As I'm cleaning up this pan, holy moly, would you just look at it? Oh, it's delicious. It is everywhere in here. There is gold, there's garnet, there's ironstone, there's so much in here. It's oh God, show me more.